Europe prepares for war as Ukraine conflict looms large. That's something that is a little bit scary, to be honest. I mean, we are living here in the UAE. In Dubai, we don't really see much from that, uh, only if we go to the German news or to the European news. But what kind of impact has it to you as somebody who lives in Europe? What kind of impact has it to us as someone who is living in UAE? And what kind of impact does it have to the real estate market in Europe and in the UAE? That's the main topic today. And this, I have a very special guest Leonardo Löwenhardt, the most famous real estate agent in the UAE at this time. Welcome, Leonardo, to the podcast. Thank you for inviting me today. So, Leonardo, I have here some headlines. Ukraine wants of World War III ahead. Putin wants the West and the Russia-NATO conflict is just one step from World War III. Collective containment of Russia and Ukraine is the main factor for preventing World War III. So there's lots of news about World War III. Um, everybody seems to become more and more scared. We see a lot of outflow of Europe, especially when it comes to finances, but also when it comes to humans itself. So many people leave the country. That's the first time since the Second World War that people leave the countries in Europe like crazy. Before the Second World War, there was a similar situation. That time, people moved to New York, the center of the earth, before the Second World War. Now, people seem to move to Dubai and to other countries where they feel it's safe. So, the question to me at the moment, and uh, I always say numbers talk, the question to me at the moment is, what impact will it have to you as a person who is living in Europe? Uh, Leonardo, what would you do in this kind of situation? You are from Germany originally. You live here since uh, many years already in Dubai. But uh, when you talk to your clients, to your German clients who still live there, or to your Austrian or Swiss or other clients from Europe, what what, what do you feel when, when you talk to them? When I listen to my clients and I, my investors, and I do up to 80 calls or 60 calls a day, um, it's generally the same uh, kind of feedback I'm getting. It's kind of a, a combination of frustration and uh, fear. People don't know what's happening. And especially the people are having big businesses. They are like, okay, what, what should we do? Should we go somewhere else? Should we move the whole family? So I think it's a combination of fear and also um, frustration. And um, I think I, what I'm telling my investors, or most of the time I'm telling, like, prepare something. So it's you don't necessarily need to leave the, the country, but it's good to have a second place in case something is happening. And it can be Dubai, it can be any place, but there are um, not many places right now where it's kind of safe and where you still can do business and where it's still like um, lucrative. Um, so I advise people to prepare and to uh, have something like a backup plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really seems like that uh, Europe is doomed for um, performing world wars, like First World War, Second World War, Third World War. Now again in Europe, it's like uh, crazy, to be honest. But uh, when it comes to money and when it comes to finances, uh, and therefore I prepared some statistics, uh, it's uh, really interesting because when money flows out, then it flows in somewhere else. And uh, I checked one company. The company is called Vonovia. Um, it's a stock-listed company in Germany. They have 500,000 apartments. And uh, what happened that time when the war in Ukraine broke out, this share dropped by over 65% in a very short period of time, now still over 50% in minus. I always thought that real estate investments are safe. So what in the world is happening in Germany with real estate? I get this question from my clients, I would say daily. People are like, Leonardo, how's the market? And I'm um, like, the same goes for Germany, right? So we can see that uh, most of my clients, they want to sell. Like, I don't have many clients that are currently looking to buy in Germany. Most of my clients are looking to sell um, most of the time desperately, like for now a long period already. And they're getting like, oh, seriously, this is so difficult. So we, we, we see it's a combination of, um, of different factors. But I think, yeah, right now people are not really looking to buy in Germany. They're more looking for the places where to invest and where to put their money yeah, it, it's really interesting uh, because we see the same from our clients. Actually, we have a very straightforward statistic from our clients. Over 85% of our clients sold their properties already. 
the rest of it twice to sell. In the same time, Germany is talking about uh, we have not enough apartments and not enough housing for all our refugees and they house them in the Berlin, in the old Berlin airport and whatever. Um, so it's a little bit controversial for me. Yes. But there's there's another thing that is really controversial. I will tell you now another headline from another part of the world. The Dubai property market saw a significant surge in March 2024. The total number of property sales in March 2024 reached 13,434 units, an 11.7% increase compared to March 2023. The figure also represents a 14.7 increase from the previous month, setting a new record for March. This surge in activity marks the second highest transaction volume in Dubai's history. According to the Dubai Land Department, property prices hit um, 1,463 dirhams per square foot, which increases by 15%. And when I see the statistic since 2022, that's also very interesting because since, since the war started in Ukraine and Russia, the prices doubled. So in Germany and in other parts of Europe, the prices seem to fall into nothingness, more or less. And here they double down. How is this possible? Is it now everybody coming here or what's going on? It seems like. <laughs> so what we, what we see is, I think, uh, a very important or interesting fact is that, that who is coming to Germany? Because we still have like people moving to Germany or to other countries. Like who is coming into the country and who's leaving the country. I think that's, it's it's not only uh, that, yes, people, a lot of people leaving, but who's actually leaving? The people leaving, they're the people like you guys, the, the ones, they're probably also watching this here, are business owners, investors, people that are smart, they think ahead. They're like, okay, what's the next move? Um, so uh, I always say it's like playing chess. You need to prepare the next move and you need to think ahead. And these people are doing it actually. So who's leaving the country and who's coming in? So that's one thing. But also regarding the uh, the statistics and the numbers, um, if we look at the the report from UBS, um, we all know the UBS report bubble index. Um, that was usually Dubai was always um, undervalued, and we can see now first time that we are fairly valued, which is still we are in the green and we are always all the way down. Um, of course, that has an impact, and we can see that on the numbers. But compared to other cities, we're still um, quite uh, lucrative for investment. Mm, okay. I mean, it's, of course, also, we also have to, of course, um, if we invest in something, we also have to focus on the plans of a nation and the UAE, the plan to double down population by 2040. I think they will reach the goal, especially if we see more and more conflicts. And uh, the good thing in the UAE is that uh, we don't let anybody in so if you come in you have to have a job you have to have a business or you have to have money so nobody comes in here for free or let's say nobody want to come in or let's say nobody want to come in because we don't have a social system so if you come here and your money is gone then you are out basically what we have to really see is that conflicts around the world they drive the price to the roof and uh, the price will drive further um, we see this from the statistics, what I told you before, when the war started in Ukraine, the prices in UAE went up, not necessarily because Germans came. Germans are coming now more and more, but that time, like two years ago, Ukrainians came and Russians came and they bought the market up like crazy. They invested in everything that they could and uh, not all of them invested smart, I would say. So at the moment... Uh, Lots of Ukrainians and Russians also try to sell their investments again, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult than they thought. Why is that? Um, I think, first of all, a lot of people, uh, like the fear of missing out, people are rushing into something. It's it's not it's not good, generally. Um, if you are doing such a decision, you should think twice and you also should t have the right person to give you the right advice. Um, the the right developer location and so on. So for the people they um, bought for let's say uh, overpriced, which can happen, of course, um, is uh, I would advise them to be a little bit patient um, because we see like a lot of millionaires and billionaires moving to Dubai, and 
we are talking uh, like big numbers. Um, like we can see number one now in Dubai, buyers or investors are from UK, actually. Germany is also high up. Um, we haven't seen that before. Um, so I would advise people to be a little bit patient, but the right, um, the people coming to Dubai and these people are end users and they're happy to pay the premium the people already like bought for. I showed you the headlines before, like the headlines are full of uh, war news and whatever, and everything will escalate and get crazy. But we know how newspapers and news in general work. They also work based on profits. So I wanted to know what the politicians say. And uh, we have a few politicians in Europe who are still seeking for peace and asking for peace. Not many, to be honest. But, uh, for example, Mr. Vucic, the Prime Minister of Serbia, he is one of them. Viktor Orban is one of them. But a speech like Mr. Vucic did just a few days ago, I never saw this in my entire life. How openly a president is talking about the actual situation and what he's forecasting. We just have a quick look into this video. And then, Leonardo, I want to have an opinion. What do you think about that? How close are we now to a third world war? Confrontation. I, I cannot say a third world war, but a big confrontation, how far we are. I believe that we are not far away from it. Not more than not more than three, four months. And there is a, and there is a danger to happen even before that. Did you ever hear a president talking like this? It's it's shocking. Um, because usually you see these kind of news uh, in different newspapers and people talking, but if actually a person like that is uh, speaking about this, it's very, um, it's shocking. And I, I think it's also later now you should uh, really think about what should, what what would be your next move, a smart move. Um, so I think for most of the people right now, they are still in Germany or in these countries You should definitely think about having a, a backup plan. I always say hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Having a plan B, having a backup plan and diversifying your assets is the thing that we are preaching since uh, 15 years. There's a lot of signs on the horizon and we should prepare for that. I think it's very, very important to diversify your assets, to get at least parts of your assets or of your money outside from Europe and to invest it in something that is more prosperous. And what I can also tell you, preventive investment is better than panic investment. Mm -hmm. We saw it two years ago with the Ukrainians and the Russians. When war comes, you don't get prepared for it. It comes overnight. When it's there, people start to panic, and then people start to buy whatever they find, and people run into wrong investment or overpriced investments and other people take advantage, especially in the real estate market. It's still... A sales-driven market. Most of the real estate agents, they work on commissions. So you don't have to wonder if they tell you that everything is shiny and gold here and uh, you will make 30, 50% with whatever you buy. It's, of course, not the fact. We talk about smart money and dump money. And we want to be the ones who invest smart and not dump. That's why preventive investments, seeing signs on the horizon and act accordingly, This is what Flex Strategy is doing. And this is also something what Leonardo is always preaching, that you prepare for something before something is happening. I cannot say it often enough. Act, not react. That's the right thing. And I think you can, not, you can never be um, prepared enough. And I even, let's say, the best is happening. We have no war. Okay. Then uh, you're still uh, you're prepared for something. I think it's very important to, to know the market, to understand, and not, not only sit in a bubble and think this is the world, because you need to see the bigger picture. So if you want to have a consultation when it comes to real estate investment, um, give us a call or send us a message. We are happily arranging a meeting with Leonardo and with us together where we talk about it and where we do a proper planning, how to invest, where to invest and what should we really do for having a plan B. It's not only real estate, it's also golden visas, it's second residences, it's even second passport. We have to prepare in these kind of times and we will go into better times and then we will even prosper more than ever before. Leonardo, thank you for your visit and I hope to see you soon again. Thank you so much. Thank you.